How's it going everyone? Force Closed here. In this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Dungeon 7 Island 9, the expert dungeon just before the one that everybody likes to farm 57 shards. It's pretty difficult so I'm going to try to give you some tips on how I beat it. I'm sure this won't go for everybody. Obviously people have different heroes and different uh, talents and stuff so it does make a difference on each basis but here's how I did it and for a general strategy it seems to work. What I did is from my previous video I changed up my strategy and I mentioned how I, uh, I figured out something that works better is dropping the copters right here because there's no flying troops. The copters won't be targeted by anything except for towers and these heroes but it might not even reach those heroes. So I'm going to drop next to this magic tower here and that hopefully if I had more copters I've only got four spawned right now they're uh, being built but I'm going to go ahead anyways because I really don't expect to beat this um, just for demonstration purposes really. So I dropped these copters here and with a full fleet of copters it should be able to take out that magic tower relatively quickly and while that's going on then I drop snowstorm over here to, to uh, prevent these two magic towers from stunning and as that's going on I drop guardian angel right here to uh, protect Pumpkin Duke. You might even be able to wait a second or so before dropping Guardian Angel just to let the duration last a little bit longer. And then Pumpkin Duke goes right about here on this magic tower. He should draw aggro from both of these troop camps and that'll uh, build up his energy really quickly because of those troops. So then once Pumpkin Duke is building up his energy, I drop the rest of my heroes and Frenzy after his first or second stack. And from there, they should all just go berserk and start plowing through everybody. But if you notice, there's a lot of ground troops in this. So Minotaur might not be the best hero to use. Uh, maybe that's why it was so easy for me to beat without Minotaur, because you'd uh, probably better off without him. So anyways, here, I'm just going to get into it. One, two, three, four. Drop this right about here. Guardian Angel, Pumpkin Duke. Uh, like I said, I probably should have waited on that Guardian Angel a little bit. Now I'm dropping the rest of the guys. All right, Pumpkin Duke got his first stack. And so now they should be going kind of quickly. I'm just going to watch here. I kind of messed up on that restoration. But when I did this, uh, all my heroes funneled to the right. I think, uh, and I don't know what went wrong there, but my heroes funneled all to the right, and they ended up wiping out this section of the map. And I got an easy 50% clear. So maybe that drop strategy will work for you. Like I said, better timing on the magic. I completely missed my restoration and I went a little bit early on my guardian angel. But those basic tactics should probably help you get through. Um, I think that's all for now. All right, guys. Good luck.